Welcome to the Principles of Truth podcast with Kurt and Ellie. Join us as we discuss various topics and compare them to the one truth, God and His Word. How do these things we see and hear stack up to that truth? Let's look together and find out. And welcome to our latest message. This one is called, Stay True to God, No Matter What Happens. That's right. <laughs> We want to talk a little bit today about Job. Mm. That's where we'll start. We'll see where we go with it, where we yes, end up. That's right. mm-hmm. But everybody's probably familiar with the story of Job and how he was an upright man. And the Bible says that he was blameless. He loved God. He had family. He was respected in his mm-hmm. community. Had a lot of wealth. Kind of had, had it made yes. in the natural sense. He had it going on. Yes. <laughs> And uh, things went went south for Job really fast. Mm, mm-hmm. And before we get into all that, let's talk about why. Mm-hmm. Why they went south. Um, why they went bad. Mm-hmm. South isn't necessarily <laughs> bad. They went down, in other yeah. words. And Job was attacked by the enemy, not for no reason, if that mm-hmm. makes sense. Mm-hmm. He, there was a reason why he was attacked. It's not a reason like, well, because he did bad things or his family did bad things, even though his children mm-hmm. weren't the best in the world. He was attacked because mm-hmm. Satan went to God mm-hmm. and in a conversation with God at a heavenly meeting. Yes. It's all there in the book of Job. Look it up. <laughs> told God that he wanted to attack Job. Mm-hmm. Because God was kind of almost bragging about Job. Mm. You know, he said, have you considered my servant Job? Mm. And and some people may take that wrong the way it's worded. Some people may say that, well, God said, have you considered attacking my servant Job? Mm. In in reality, God was kind of lifting Job up in the sense that I've got this servant here and, Mm. and, you know, he loves me. And no matter what happens to him, he'll Mm. never turn his back on Mm -hmm. me. And Satan stepped in and said, oh, give me a chance to show you that you're wrong. Mm -hmm. I'm paraphrasing, obviously. Um, But he said, let me let me have Job for a while. We'll see how steadfast and Mm -hmm. true he stays to you Mm -hmm. when everything in his life falls apart. Mm -hmm. And so God gave Satan permission to touch Job's life Mm -hmm. uh, with the restriction First off, that he was not to touch Job's body. Mm -hmm. He could not touch Job, but he could touch his surrounding elements. Mm -hmm. Uh, So Job was Mm -hmm. viciously attacked by Mm -hmm. the enemy. All in a matter of 24 hours, he lost everything and everybody he had, Mm -hmm. with the exception of his wife. His wife was the only one of his family who was left. His, Mm -hmm. His children were all killed, his servants, his workers Everything, they were all killed. His livestock was Mm. lost. Everything was lost. And in the process of that, the ensuing days afterwards, Job even lost his respect in the community. He was a very well-respected man. But people couldn't even look on him after that while he was going through this struggle Mm. because he looked terrible. Right. Because ultimately, God did did give Satan permission to touch Job's body. Mm -hmm. And so Job had this thing with boils all over his skin and and, you know, it was a pretty ugly mess. Mm-hmm. And Job sat with his friends at one point, And it's an interesting exchange back and forth between them all. And Job, in the midst of his suffering, for lack of any better word, mm-hmm. because he was suffering badly, he became agitated mm-hmm. with God. And he did not understand why this would have happened to mm-hmm. him because he was an upright man. But in the end, the things that Job said revealed why. Why it happened mm-hmm. because he felt like he was above reproach. Mm. He felt like he was above anything like that happening to him. But see that that should show us that there's not one of us yes. that's, that's right. exempt from trials and mm-hmm. attacks mm-hmm. from the enemy. Right. And as Job worked his way through this and he talked with his friends and his friends said some really stupid things to him mm. about why he was in this mess and you mm. know, they, they had him looking like he was this terrible person. <laughs> When in fact he really wasn't because the Bible tells us that he was an upright man. He was blameless Mm -hmm. before God. But see, Job, even in the midst of all of his suffering and his frustration and his agitation, his his friends were just like sitting there poking him over Mm -hmm. and over again. It's like, it's kind of like poking a hornet's nest. You know, Mm -hmm. you you shove that stick in there and the bees are going to come out. (laughs) So as his friends continued to take jabs at it, it's like they took turns too. They they would go back and forth around Mm -hmm. between 
between the two or three or four of them. Mm -hmm. And of course, when you do that and somebody's sitting there with boils all over their skin, they've just lost everything they have. Sooner or later, they're going to snap mm -hmm. and they're going to say things that may not be the right things to say. Right. And so as they went through this whole thing, ultimately, Job stayed true to God. Mm -hmm. Despite his anger with God for allowing this to happen, and despite some of the things that he said, none of those things ever, ever truly went against God. Right. You know, Job's wife it's, kept saying, just mm -hmm. curse God and die, mm -hmm. and he wouldn't. I think his heart just stayed true to God. Mm -hmm. To the point where, yeah, he was feeling it and mm -hmm. his emotions. He's probably going through emotional problems oh, in yeah. these situations. Very traumatic. He just lost everything. Yeah. I mean, just losing one child is hard, but can mm -hmm. you imagine losing your whole no, bunch of kids, it. you mm -hmm. know, and all your finances? And, and it all happened within hours. I mean, he could have really gone into shock and he could yeah. have gone crazy, you know yeah. what I mean? But he, right. he didn't. You know, mm -hmm. he stayed true to God. Mm -hmm. And, you know, I think it's something to say, you know, that's something good because yeah. something we can learn from that. Things can happen, you know, we think because we're God's children, we don't have to go through things. Right. That would be nice. <laughs> <laughs> would be very nice. But it's not, it's and not. it's nice to think like that. Right. It's a nice feeling. It's a nice thought. Right. But when you know that Job was blameless mm -hmm. and he was a good man, mm -hmm. but yet Satan was still allowed to touch him, mm -hmm. you know, his possessions, his, his family, his, it's, Even his body. It, you know, it makes us think a little bit yeah. like, you know, what, what if that was us? What would mm -hmm. we have done in right. his position? Would we have just thrown in the towel and say, you know what? You did this to me, God. Why yeah. should I? See serve you, you. Yeah, you know exactly and, you know what kind of person would we be and it's good to look at ourselves we don't have to go mm -hmm. through it because it's not happened to us but you know to think about that and to really think like what would we do would, right. are we in a place where we could you know with confidence say well i do you know what job did i would right. probably be angry and be sad right. but i wouldn't give up on god because right. i love him and you know yeah. what would we do it's a good you know to look at ourselves and say where are we today and where do we stand right. you know in a situation yeah. if we were in a situation similar mm -hmm. to that right and you know who, who else comes to mind is peter mm -hmm. peter swore up and down to, to jesus right to his face i will never deny you mm -hmm. I'll, I'll stay with you if it costs me my life Right. And, you know, Jesus shocked him when he said, before the rooster crows, you're going yes. to deny me three times. Mm -hmm. And Peter still mm -hmm. flat out rejected that mm -hmm. and said, no, I'll never deny you. And mm -hmm. ultimately he denied him. But what did God do? Mm -hmm. God is a God of restoration mm -hmm. and he's a God of mercy. Right. And he's a God of many chances. Mm -hmm. And so in the case of Job, when Job had demanded an audience with God mm -hmm. so that he could plead his case and prove that he was was not guilty. Mm. God ultimately gave him that chance mm -hmm. to plead his case and mm -hmm. present his case. Mm -hmm. And when Job was done and God was done with Job, mm -hmm. Job repented because mm -hmm. he saw his guilt. Mm -hmm. He saw his pride mm -hmm. and he saw the futility of the things that he had said and kind of even the stupidity of them. He mm -hmm. realized that he had just said some really stupid things right. because of the situation that he was mm -hmm. in. Peter ultimately did deny Jesus. Mm -hmm. And immediately when that rooster crowed right after he had denied Jesus the third time. Mm -hmm. You know, what's interesting, I just was reading through this the other day. The Bible says that when the rooster crowed, mm -hmm. it was right after Peter had denied Jesus the third time. Mm -hmm. And when that happened, Peter realized. Mm. And what took place right at that moment? Jesus looked at him. Mm -hmm. Jesus was there and looked over at him mm. as if to say, this is what I was talking mm. about. But he didn't condemn Peter. Mm -hmm. Peter went on to become a powerhouse. Mm -hmm. it, it's almost like that situation mm. did something to yes, Peter. Yes, it showed him himself. It showed mm -hmm. him his weakness. Right. You know, we can say these things. And, yeah. um, but when it, what is it, where the rubber meets the road? Yeah, you know, I, what are we going to do? Right. Are we going to stay true to God? Right. Or are we going to, you know, allow the circumstances to mm. pull us away from him and yeah. have us, you know, walk away? Right. You know, it's, yeah. it's, it's a serious thing when you it think is. about it because, yeah. you know, I don't know, someone's going through something today and, you know, you've, you know, you are a child of God, but you are right now going through some hardship. Mm. 
And like Job, you feel like everything's coming against you. You lost, you're losing big stuff, things that are precious to you. And in your heart, you know, your heart is for God, but you're also having your emotions and you're feeling all this stuff. And, you know, we just want to encourage you today that just like Job went through a lot of what he went through, as he stuck with God, as he did not deny him and did not go against him and he stood with him and for mm -hmm. him, you know, God turned his situation mm -hmm. around. And I think that's what's very important right now for people to hear is that yeah. no matter how hard it is in your life right now, mm -hmm. you stand firm with God. You yes. hold on to his promises. You hold on to him. To have yeah. faith the size of a mustard seed. Mm -hmm. That's all you need right now. Right. Hold on to that mustard seed, that size, and, and keep trusting God mm -hmm. to come through for you yeah. in whatever way he needs to. And he right. will. Amen. Amen. He will come Amen. through. That's right. And you know, every one of us has been through stuff. Mm -hmm. So sometimes it's good for us to look back at what we've been through. Yes. And you know, we may not always get the result that mm -hmm. we want when we go through a trial. Right. Because ultimately we don't have the final say. Mm. But how did we react? You know, how did we handle ourselves? Mm. If we did well, then we can use that as a kind of a pattern to follow. Right. If we did poorly, it's a learning opportunity opportunity mm -hmm. for us. Yes. Just like Peter denying Jesus three times, it was a learning opportunity mm -hmm. for him that when he realized his failure, it changed him right. for the rest of his life. Mm -hmm. And he ultimately gave his life mm -hmm. for his faith. Yes. So that tells you a lot about how God can turn things around mm -hmm. for us if we stay true. Yes, and I think it's our heart, you know, mm -hmm. and Peter's heart. He really wanted to do the right thing. He surely thing. did. But sometimes yes. in our weaknesses, we do silly things. Yeah, we, we just do, drop the know, ball. Right, but yeah. God sees through all that. Mm -hmm. He sees through all that. He helps us in those areas. Yeah. Amen. Exactly. Amen. So if you're facing something really hard, mm. don't give up. Yes, stay okay. true to God. Yes. Don't throw Throw in the towel, as the saying goes, mm -hmm. and just walk away from God. It's not worth it. Not for one second. Stay true. Yes. Hold fast. Yes. And allow God to walk you through whatever it is you're going through, yes. one little step at a time, one day at a time. Yes. And the results may not always be the way we think they should mm. be or the way we want them to be, mm -hmm. but God is faithful. Yes. And if we stay true to Him, He will bring things back yes, around in the way that He knows is best. Yes. Amen. 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 So stay Amen. true, yes. hold fast, Yes. don't back down, stand up and do yes. whatever it is God's telling you to do, Yes. and follow those steps that he's giving you to yes. get through whatever it is you're facing. Yes. Amen? Amen. Amen. We love you guys. We love you. We appreciate you so much. Yes. Thank you for all that you do. Thank you so Thank much. Thank you for your prayers. Yes. Thank, Thank you, you for your support. Yes. And if you would like this and share it and comment on it and subscribe if you're not already subscribed, we would <laughs> truly appreciate that as well. Yes. You guys have a great rest of your day. Stay close to God. Yes. And you take care. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. We hope you've enjoyed this podcast. If you did, we invite you to share it with others. Also, if you'd like to receive a daily Bible devotional to help you learn to apply God's Word to your daily lives and to strengthen your walk with Him, please visit BibleDevotionalsOnline.com where you can sign up to receive one of our devotionals by email each morning. It's 100% free and takes less than a minute to sign up. Again, that's BibleDevotionalsOnline.com.